if we break any promise, promise with a person, how Allah will forgive us. <clears throat> now, the issue of promising is something that is permissible. And fulfilling your promise is something that Allah has commanded us to do. And this is mentioned in the beginning of chapter 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah, Awfu bil uqud Allah Azza wa Jal orders us to fulfill our contracts and our obligations. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made one of the characteristics of hypocrites that they break their promise. So, Anika, if you promised someone and he broke and, and you broke the promise, you are either one of two. Either you have a legitimate reason or you don't have a legitimate reason. If you don't have a legitimate reason, then you're sinful. But if you have a legitimate reason, then there is no sin upon you. And among the legitimate reasons might be forgetfulness. I promise you to come for lunch tomorrow and I forgot. Compulsion. I promise you to give you something or to do something, but someone under gun uh, uh, point prevented me from doing this. Uh, if the thing that I had promised you was haram, I promised you to uh, uh, give you a, a, a CD uh, of music, then I have to, and I'm obliged to break my promise because this is not permissible. The uh, inability, I promised you to take you uh, somewhere, but the car broke down. Oh, what can I do? I can't fly. So these are legitimate reasons, but if you break your promise without any legitimate reason, and you can fulfill that promise, then you are sinful.